What's up guys, this is Josh back with another video and welcome to the Keep It Techie channel. And today I have a special treat for all you Linux enthusiasts as well as tech aficionados. It's been a very long time since I reviewed this distribution. I wanted to check it out again, but we're diving into the world of cybersecurity with a in-depth look at Parrot OS. So let's get to it. All right, so let's kick things off with a bit of the background on Parrot OS. As you guys can see, I'm at parrot.org, and of course, I'll have the link down in the description of the video so you can get all the information about Parrot OS. Now, imagine a Linux distribution that's not just any run of the mill, but one specifically tailored for the brightest minds in cybersecurity, ethical hacking, and digital forensics. That's Parrot OS for you, which is a gem born from a the collaboration of Debian Legacy and the initiative minds at the Parrot project. Now, what makes Parrot OS stand out? Picture this, a toolkit full of everything a cybersecurity professional or a IT specialist could dream of. From penetration testing and digital forensics to reverse engineering, Parrot OS is like the Swiss army knife of cybersecurity. And guess what, with the launch of Parrot 6.0, they've upped the ante. And let me go down and click on it right here you can get to the release notes by just clicking right here under the download button i just want to show you guys that but this version was released january 24th it took me a little while to get to it but i definitely wanted to cover it because i really like parrot os it's essentially similar to kali linux as well as like black arch or something like that it has all the same tools that you would see on kali linux but with its own flavor now just so you guys know parrot 6.0 has kind of upped the ante, basing it on the sturdy shoulders of Debian 12 and spicing it up with the Linux kernel of 6.5. This means you're getting not just improved stability, but also a front row seat to the latest in network analysis, enhanced performance, and top notch hardware support. And let's scroll down a little bit. I just want to get down here to what's new with Parrot. OS 6. Now, the folks behind Parrot OS have been busy bees updating their indispensable penetration testing tools and tweaking the system for an even smoother experience. Plus, with a fresh look and some cutting edge features, Parrot OS is not just powerful, it's also a pleasure to use. And that's one of the things that has made Parrot OS stand out to me from like Kali Linux. They make it look great. And you'll see that when we get to the install part of the video. Now, before we get to the install, let me go back over to the homepage and show you guys how to download it right fast. But all you have to do is hit downloads and then you have a couple different versions. You got the security edition and this is all on the left hand side. They have a home edition. They have the hack the box edition, Windows subsystem Linux. You can they have instructions on how to get it that get it set up that way. There's a cloud edition architecture and then a Raspberry Pi version as well what i'm gonna do is get the security edition there's a home edition and this is for people that like privacy and they just want to have a daily system to run that looks like parrot os it comes with a lot of privacy tools and it's essentially just a base operating system but it's not loaded with all the tools that you would see on a security edition so just just so you guys know but let's go down and get the security edition and so i'm gonna click there and as you can see right here it says security edition is a special purpose operating system designed for penetration testing and red team operations so yeah it's awesome let's go down and download it right fast and i'll walk you guys through the install Style. it's really not that difficult but let's get to it before we move forward i wanted to give a quick shout out to ciq the official partner of rocky linux rocky linux is a linux distribution that is intended to be a downstream complete binary compatible release using the red hat enterprise linux operating system source code the project is led by gregory kurtzer who was the founder of the CentOS project so check out Rocky Linux at CIQ.co. All right, so we logged into the live ISO of Parrot OS. This is what will happen when you boot up, whether you burn it on a USB drive or write it on a disk, which I don't know too many people that have those these days, but this is what you'll be greeted with. It'll go right into the operating system where you can try it, you know, and install it. And if you look right here on the desktop, I'm gonna just walk through this right fast, but 
if you look right here on the desktop there is the install parrot link all you have to do is click that and that'll open up the installer and allow us to install parrot os and then we'll walk through it right fast they also have a readme you know dot license that's the license for it and you can use this live iso if you want to there is a password for the live iso which is parrot and parrot so it's parrot for the username and parrot for the password okay and so this is the calamaris installer and if you guys know anything about this installer is very simple to use so let's run through it right fast i just want to walk through and show you guys how to get the system installed if this is your first time looking at this distro but let's go through hit next select your location this is saying new york so we're going to switch it to los angeles because i'm on the west Coast. hit next keyboard layout partition erase disk that's what i'll do but you can set it up how you want to just make sure you select the right storage device and make sure if you're installing this on hardware you have a backup of all your data and your or you're using a drive that you already have slotted for the install with no data because it's going to erase the disk just so you guys know and you can elect to choose if you want to swap i'll do swap the file just just because this is a virtual machine it really doesn't matter you can also in, uh, type in a password for it if you want to i'm gonna uncheck that box we don't need it encrypted and that's pretty much it right there let's go on and uh hit next oh and right here is the master boot you know record the location you want to get that installed on so or set on so let's go on and hit next and select or create our user account so josh and then this is parrot you can name it whatever you want to i'm gonna name it parrot oh and then let's type in a super strong password right fast twice and it really doesn't matter you know as long as you type a strong password and i'm glad this is unchecked log in automatically let's hit next and then this is a summary and now all we have to do is hit install and wait and so i'll be back when this completes just hit install now right there but i'll be back when it completes okay so that took me about 15 minutes to get it installed it may take you more or less it all depends on your hardware and of course you guys know that it's installing all these tools so it does take some time but i just wanted to at least let you know that so all you got to do is hit this checkbox it's already checked and hit done and it'll reboot the system and then we can go right in and i'll show you guys a little bit of the desktop so be back in a sec all right so we logged into parrot os for the first time and we all know parrot os is a whole lot different from kali linux and one thing is it shines with the my desktop environment as you guys can see and if you guys have used the mate desktop environment it's known for its balance of performance and usability and it's lightweight yet powerful interface is customizable and intuitive offering a excellent user experience without sacrificing system resources and that's one reason i recommend parrot os is similar to using windows in a, a little bit of an aspect because of the start menu down at the bottom if you click right here that's the start menu you can go in and find all your applications there and you also got your search up here you know it's super cool and just show you guys a few of the things that are included because they do have a couple differences as far as the applications parrot os comes with a lot more applications for let's say a desktop user it's a lot more tools available to you applications installed that you know you would see on a normal distro as well as the cybersecurity. because you know cali it comes with the tools that you would most likely need in pen testing and all that stuff well parrot comes with a lot of other tools so you can use this as a full-blown you know desktop environment along with having access to all those tools pre-installed on the operating system so for one if you look up here at the top this is one thing i want to point out there is vs code so vs code and it's vs codium installed by default from what i remember i don't remember seeing that on kali linux by default but that is one of the applications i believe that's included but but another tool that i wanted to kind of show you guys if you go under system tools you'll see applications like bleach bit that's kind of like your c cleaner for the operating system because that's why i say this this distro or cybersecurity distro it's kind of built for people that want to use it on a daily basis and it already has like a lot of tools and bleach bit is similar to c cleaner on windows c cleaner you know it cleans out the c drive it, it gets rid of temp files it gets rid of excess files and and recover space on the hard drive of the operating system what bleach bit does the same thing it goes through the home directory you know get rid of temp files and different files that are unnecessary on a system to clean it up just be careful with it 
you know it's a powerful tool you can remove things that can kind of brick the operating system but you know you want to just make sure you're doing what you're supposed to do but as you can see it comes with a lot of mate tools you'll see the mate you know disk image monitor disk usage analyzer system monitor and i won't go through and open them all up but yeah you got a lot of all those mate tools now let's get to the fun part because most people want to see this you want to see the cyber security tools or the penetration testing tools that are available so just to show you guys if you go right here under pen testing you'll see all the tools organized under the different areas so most used tools information gathering vulnerability analysis web application analysis exploit tools maintaining access post exploitation password attacks wireless testing sniffing spoofing digital forensics automotive so automotive hacking tools in here that's super cool to see reverse engineering and reporting tools so pretty much all your in your pen testing tools are under here under pen testing now just show you guys some other cool things that i don't remember seeing on cali linux but you have a whole bunch of web browsers it even comes with the tor browser by default most people don't know that cali linux does not come with the Tor browser installed by default. And then look at this. This is a video I've done in the past, but Onion Share. That way you can share files anonymously across the Tor network. Onion Share is on here. Open Snitch, you got a bit BitTorrent, Chrome browser, Firefox, you know, you're good to go. You got pretty much everything you need in order to use the internet on this system. All right, one other cool thing I wanted to show you guys under privacy. And like I said, this is another one of those tools that's included with Parrot OS, like for people that want to use it long term. But they do have an unsurf on here. I believe you have to get that installed on Kali Linux. The last time I looked at it, this will route all the traffic from your system. So no, no matter what browser you're using, you know, no matter what, what are you, whatever you're doing on the system, it will route all your traffic through Tor. And you can sort the anonymous surf. You can check the IP addresses. You can change your exit nodes. You know, all that stuff. So all your information will go through the Tor network, which is super cool. And under cryptography, you got your GPA, Zulu Crypt, so you can crypt files, you know, all that stuff, metadata, cleaner, secure file deleter. So this basically makes it harder to for people to recover files off a of hard drive. So if you want to delete something, it'll overwrite that file like multiple times. So it's very hard or very difficult for someone to recover it. You know, if the system is compromised or if someone gets a hold of your hardware, your hard drive and all like that stuff. And that's pretty much it for my quick review of Parado. And we've just scratched the surface of what this operating system has to offer. But I hope you're as excited as I am to dive deeper and explore all its capabilities. Remember, the world of Linux and cybersecurity is vast and full of wonder. And with tools like Parado, you're well equipped to tackle the challenges and seize the opportunities that lie ahead. I'm Josh, and this has been another tech adventure on Keep It Techie. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up, share it with your tech buddies, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Also, if you got a question or want to share your experience with Parrot OS, drop a comment down below. I love to hear from you. And as always, keep it techy.